Alright guys, welcome back to part 4 of making a Minecraft hacked client. In this video what we're going to do is create a simple fly hack. So um, yeah, let's get right to it. First off, what you're going to want to do is create a new package to organize the mods we'll be creating. So make that your client name dot mods. Second, let's drag the module class into the mods folder just to make things more organized, I guess you could say. And um, let's make a new class called Flight. Now let's make this the child class of the module class. So we'll have it extends module. And add a constructor. It's going to want you to add a constructor since this has only one, the module class. Ask you for asks you for a name, keyboard, uh, button, and category. So, um, let's go ahead and delete the parameters and enter them in here. So, type in flight, and then here let's do keyboard dot key underscore f. You can do whatever key you want, um, up to you. And then lastly we'll do category dot player. So, we uh, we set up the basics of it, and now we need to get to the actual hack. So um, let's create a public void on update. So when it's actually called, then if uh, this dot is toggled, which is this toggled method is in the module class, is toggled, um, then we're gonna do mc dot the player dot capabilities dot is flying equals true. So um, go down a couple not a couple lines, and then we're gonna type in if mc dot game settings dot keybind uh, jump dot is pressed we're gonna do mc dot the player dot motion y oh make sure that's y plus equals t uh, 0 0.2 so this is just gonna make it so when the spacebar is pressed it'll go up faster than the regular minecraft setting so let's copy this hit enter a couple times let's paste it again twice so um keybind, let's say keybind, um, oh, what's it called? Sneak for shift. So if that's pressed, let's go down 0 0.2 and keybind forward. If forward is pressed, then we're going to do mc dot the player dot capabilities dot set fly speed and then fly hack speed. Um, so let's make a private variable up here called private. Let's actually make it public so other classes can access it. Public static float fly hack speed. So we can change this later. Let's make it 0.1f. So if we make like um, something that can change it we can easily change this variable instead of having to do this. Um, so yeah, that's that's the uh, how it turns on. And lastly, what we'll need is just a super dot on update. So one thing we're gonna need to do is have an on disable method because if we don't, then the hack will never turn off. So let's have public void on disable. Let's do mc dot the player dot capabilities dot is flying equals false and super dot di on disable. So yeah, I think this that's how you set up a fly hack. Um, last thing is we're gonna need to go into the client or spike class is what mine is, and we're gonna do add mod new flight and then parentheses so we're gonna need to import that and all I need to do is just create a star here just to make it easier so that it imports everything from this instead of 
having to manually import each class, which takes up a lot of lines of code, but it doesn't really matter. So, if we go ahead and run this, it should work. Takes a little bit to start up. Yeah, I don't know why it's taking so long. It, I probably, probably because I haven't turned my computer off in a while. So, I'll turn off on my other monitor. But if we hit single player, go to the test world. All right. So, if we hit F we should start flying and if we let go we'll stop so yeah that works pretty well I'd say um, yeah it's pretty fast so we can change the speed later by messing around with this variable right here so that's pretty much it guys that's how you make a fly hack or flight mod in minecraft and I'll see you guys later